Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas day three. Starting it off a little bit late, like a lot late, it's 2.40 in the afternoon. I had a pretty hectic morning. Well, I woke up late obviously because I'm obviously, I'm not hungover, but I'm like pretty close, pretty damn close to being hungover. And I woke up a little late and then I started editing the video and then I had to go, I had to get this car from my mom because obviously I'm in my mom's car right now because I can't drive my car very far distances and it looks like my mom and I are going to have to be sharing a car for the foreseeable future but I finally made it, this has been a long trek, I finally made it to can you guys see? Trader Joe's. Yes, I did it. Rainy, dreary day out. I just want to get my stuff from Trader Joe's and then go home and shower because, you know, like after you go out, you just want to shower. And I didn't shower last night because I was like too, you know, tipsy. And then this morning it was like, go, go, go. After I woke up and I'm so exhausted right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go out tonight. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I really want to. I really want to go out and catch up with a friend of mine, but but I just don't know if I have it in me again because we're supposed to go to the same place that I was at last night and clearly that did not end well. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I should do. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until like, I don't know what time because she lives kind of far away from Providence. So I'm gonna have to let her know beforehand if I wanna go or not. But yeah, I'm going into Trader Joe's. I don't really think with anything in mind, no list, just vibes. I'm gonna see what's in there, what I like. And then when we get home, we have to do the Nespresso advent calendar but i really want to buy some brown sugar um oat milk creamer to add to the nespresso but yeah lots to do i'm also wearing this new sweater that i just showed you guys from airy there's like a thousand people in here i also really want to get some flowers like floral arrangements my roses are so dead beyond dead when i was running out the door this morning i grabbed this suja vibrant probiotic so it has water strawberry raspberry lemon and honey i don't like many juices i don't like things that taste like vegetables this is like what i like something fruity and kind of tart i really like this but okay let's face our fears face our social anxiety and go into trader joe's on a saturday which is one of the dumbest things i've ever done but we all remember that i didn't want to have to do this i wanted to go on thursday but i crashed my car so hello everyone i am back from trader joe's i am so exhausted right now we're gonna make the Nespresso coffee and then I need to finish up editing today's Vlogmas video to make sure that goes up at like a proper time. I'm trying to aim to have them up in the morning, but since I went out last night, things are just a little bit behind schedule. And I think that's why I'm not gonna go out tonight because I need to stay in, recuperate, get my ish together and be better for tomorrow and the following week because I cannot be hung over in every vlog. That's just not logical. But I have three Trader Joe's bags behind me so we can go through everything. Like I said, it was just vibes in there. I was getting anything and everything that I thought looked cool. None of it makes sense together, but I do think tonight I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get ingredients to make French onion soup, homemade French onion soup. And you guys will see why. French onion soup is my favorite soup and you'll see why I have this brilliant idea to make it. I take a picture for the thumbnail, but look at how cute the Trader Joe's holiday bags are. Love, they're doing like a little a blue theme instead of red. But I think that these accents would be red because then it would still match their branding but also match Christmas. Maybe I'm looking too far into this. Maybe the blue is just for winter, I don't know. Lulu has been loving being in the camera lately. You've been loving it, baby queen. Who's my perfect baby? Who's my perfect baby? I literally would die for this cat right here. Okay, we're not going in any specific order here. I'm just gonna like take everything out of the bags and then we'll put it away after. This is my favorite salsa. The salsa verde from Trader Joe's is really good. It's like spicy, but not too spicy. And then I thought this sounded good. Like I said, you guys, I got so many random things. This is a grilled pesto chicken wrap. Let's see if you guys can see the inside a little bit. So it has Pesto seasoned chicken breast, ricotta and feta cheese, zucchini and sun-dried tomatoes with a pesto vinaigrette. Does that not sound amazing? Like, I don't know, I lately have been loving pesto. Ooh, I got a salad dressing. This is the vegan creamy dill 
dressing. Lately I've been obsessed with anything dill flavored, like dill pickle flavored, so that was calling my name. I've never even had artichoke dip before. I don't know why. I was just like, ooh, I like that. Artichoke and jalapeno chunky dip. I have those tortilla chips that I got from Target and I feel like um, I need to get some dips to use them up. I always hear people talk about the cilantro wontons, but these are Thai shrimp. And as you guys know, if you follow my fitness channel, I've been loving shrimp, so figured I'd give that a try. I did say I was gonna get some of this brown sugar oats creamer. That'll probably last me like a couple days. This is my favorite soup from Trader Joe's, the tomato and feta soup. Tomato soup and French onion soup are my all-time faves. I don't get many frozen things from Trader Joe's, but these I thought sounded cool. Kung Pao tempura cauliflower. I love cauliflower, but I feel like when I make it myself and it's not in a restaurant, it just never tastes as good. Another thing I really like that is frozen from Trader Joe's is the chicken soup dumplings. Those are just a good thing to have as like a an appetizer or if you're just like craving a snack. I got some carne asada. I have tried this before and I really liked it. It just is really salty, but it's easy when you're like in a pinch and you want steak. I like that. And then the last thing in this bag is a festive thing. This is the gingerbread oat latte cold brew. Cold brew, coffee, ginger juice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So I want to try that one morning. On to the next bag. So many chips and like crackers and types of things like that because I couldn't control myself. Of course, I had to get some more crunchy curls because ever since I tried them, I just can't stop thinking about them. They're so good. I got these peppermint pretzel slims. I saw Keaton post about these and say that they were really addicting, so I wanted to give them a try. Spicy porkless plant-based snack rinds. It says seasoned rice and pea snacks. Honestly, I just got these because it said spicy and I was like, ooh, that sounds like me. I love the everything but the elote corn chip dippers. I almost just cracked this and that could have ended so bad. What I was gonna say is I haven't had the cowboy caviar in so long, so I'm excited to have that as a little snack. Ooh, I thought that this sounded so good. Chili, crunchy chili onion peanuts. Should we try one of these right now? I need to like put this refrigerated stuff away, but you know, I wanna try one because I love the chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's, so hopefully these are good. Oh my god, these are delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought these would be good on salads and things. Crispy jalapeno pieces. It's kind of like um kind of like crispy onion strings, but instead it's jalapenos. And you guys know I'm a spicy gal. I have literally no idea why I bought this. I think I'm just like a little hungover and thirsty, intrigued by this drink. Sugar plum sparkling beverage. Plum and white grape juice beverage from concentrates. So it's like a fake wine. I think I've seen these on TikTok and that's why I got them hot and sweet jalapenos. Clearly I was in a very spicy mood today. And then last thing in that bag is mini peppermint meringues. I love meringues. Last bag, here we go. More chips, but I couldn't resist these because I want to know what it tastes like. Salsa Verde flavored corn tortilla chips. You guys know, Salsa Verde is my jam. So when I saw that, I was like, that sounds really good. I got some sourdough bread. I have not bought sourdough bread in so long and I kind of miss having avocado toast some mornings. I don't know why I got this. Hopefully I use it soon. Enchilada sauce. It just seemed really nice, easy, convenient, and it, it, it was calling my name. Only a couple more things. I got two of these sparkling honey crisp apple juice beverages. I love all of the Trader Joe's sparkling juice beverages, so I'm sure I will like the honey crisp flavor. And then I got these green and red hatch chili flakes. More spicy, I'm assuming. I didn't intentionally show this last, but it is fitting. So this is why I'm gonna make French onion soup tonight, you guys. This is focaccia bread, but it is French onion focaccia bread with caramelized onions and cheeses. Do you see this right now? This is a French onion soup lover's dream. So I'm gonna make a French onion, homemade French onion soup tonight and then dip this bread into the French onion soup. French onion overload, but I don't care. Look at all of this. This is hectic. Wow, this is the most stuff I've gotten from Trader Joe's in so long.
one you can probably tell from the lighting it is actually the following day I'm gonna have a little talk with you guys about some stuff this today's vlog that I'm uploading is gonna be so lackluster I do really apologize for that um, but I'm gonna explain a little bit of why but for day three it was the Bianco Diablo or Bianco something I forget exactly what it was called but it's supposed to be like with milk I added just cold milk in and then I needed to microwave it because I don't have a hot frother yet but I need to get one of those maybe today so good though I added some almond milk and then on top I did some of that peppermint whipped cream that I got in I believe I got it in vlogmas day one the peppermint whipped cream and honestly makes the coffee I also made it in the cute little gingerbread mug from Target to feel a little bit more festive but yeah today's vlog isn't obviously gonna be as long as my other two have been so far um, but I'm gonna pick it back up today and you know get back on schedule but yesterday was probably the hardest day that I've had in a little bit which is weird I don't I don't know necessarily why but basically I'm going through a breakup right now and you know I broke up with my boyfriend and I'm just it doesn't make it any easier and I feel like I'm just going through a lot of emotions a lot of doubts and confusion and like feeling very alone and I think that's why like I felt like I needed to go out all weekend and now I just decided I'm like I honestly don't think I'm gonna go out for the rest of December after one night out I'm like this just isn't me and I think more than anything I've been in this like internal crisis of doing like what you're supposed to do after a breakup versus doing what I want to do which what I really want to do is just be alone heal myself you know figure out what I'm looking for out of life figure out how to properly love myself a lot of things like the reason why I wanted to take a break or end things was because I just felt like I needed some time to myself to like really truly work on myself um, and I know that he wanted that as well I have like no there's no hate towards my ex-boyfriend he's a great person so it's like in a way like breakups sometimes are at least in my opinion easier when you kind of like hate your ex-boyfriends like at least it gives you something to like cling on to as to why it's over and i don't really want to get into you know the nitty gritty of my relationship i realized a couple years ago that it's not healthy to like overshare online especially when it comes to something as sacred as a relationship a romantic relationship it's just better to keep those things to yourself and i really like commend anybody out there who got into a relationship and like never showed their boyfriend online never really talked about them so it's just overall healthier for a relationship to not have this whole aspect added into it some people can do it and props to them but i know that in the future wherever i end up whoever i end up with it's never going to be me i'm always going to stay much more private about that portion of my life because like i said it just created such a added aspect to the relationship that wasn't needed like it just created more problems than good so with that being said like obviously i'm not going to talk too much about the relationship itself but i do think that breakups can be something that are helpful to talk about or to hear somebody else going through i'm sure you know just the people watching this video i'm sure there's like 10 to 15 people going through a breakup right now if not more or even people who have broken up with their boyfriends a year ago and are still struggling because i get it um it's a really hard thing to go through when you're going through it you can feel very alone and very just very isolated and so i wanted to i was going back and forth i'm like oh my god like do i want to talk about it in vlogmas or do i not because it's such a bad time for me to go through a breakup like now i i can't like disassociate myself i can't not post i can't you know go ghost for a little bit and work on myself like i'm i'm present on youtube for the next 25 days in a row the camera was dying so i used it as an excuse to dry my hair really quickly and kind of just like collect my thoughts again because i do feel like that first clip i was a little bit fendy anyways i feel like i was a little bit of a jumbled up mess and I don't even know what I want to say. Basically, just yesterday after I got home from Trader Joe's, like I had plans of what to film and everything. And I don't know why my emotions just like took over me yesterday for the first time, like this much, where I just wanted to sleep. Like I literally was just like, I need to sleep. It was probably a combination of being a little bit hungover and then also just being sad. I was just, I felt so mentally and physically exhausted that I could not bring myself to do anything or leave my house or 
literally, yeah, just do anything for the rest of the night. So I slept from 7 p.m. until the next morning. I think more than anything, I'm just trying to stay more positive because I have a tendency to get really in my head, really start to overthink things, get super negative, get super down on myself, cry every single day. And I'm trying to learn how to cope with my emotions in a healthy way. If you guys have any suggestions at all for going through a breakup, like books that you've read or things that you've done or whatever it may be, let me know in the comments because I'm really trying to do it right this time and actually heal myself instead of just like distracting myself and things like that. So I'm reading a couple books right now. One that I'm gonna order today because I just saw a TikTok and it literally called me out. It's called Attached. I believe it's super popular, um, but I know for a fact I have an anxious attachment style and I want to work on like figuring that out and fixing that. So I feel like that'll be a really good book for me. If you guys have read any books similar to that or like any other book recommendations specifically, let me know because I'm all, I'm here for all of it. I want to read just like everything I can to heal myself. I just know, give me a little bit of grace because I am emotionally going through it right now, but I'm trying to not give in to just sulking every single day like i have to live my life and i have to like do the things that i want to do with my life and not just look back and be like oh i was sad for three months and i didn't do anything like i want to be able to know that i like push myself to become a better version of myself and that's why like i need to start getting back into right fendi i need to start getting back into the gym i need to just start doing me. So a big reason I think why I wanted to go out a lot this weekend is because I felt like that's what you're supposed to do in a breakup, but I'm realizing that it wasn't. It's not really like the best for me. I had fun, but I'm like good on that for a month or two because I had fun, but it's not doing me any good. Like I need to just focus on me, focus on my work, my school, the gym, like all of those types of things and you know going out and all of that, that can happen sometime in 2023 but for now I need to just you know heal myself. I think I've just been having too much internal conflict and it, thoughts and everything that it's exhausting me. It's translating into me physically and it's making me tired all the time and like I said I wasn't sure if I was going to touch on this in vlogmas. Like ideally I would have waited a month to talk about it on any form of social media but with vlogging every day i just feel like i can't hide it and like now you guys know why when i got into the car accident i was just like beside myself because i'm like hit me with one more thing like seriously one more thing like i just can't take it anymore and he is like being obsessed with me right now but it was just terrible timing and now at least you guys know i probably won't touch on it again in any more videos but at least you know what i'm going through and you can like understand a lot more of what i'm saying and like relate to me more i do want to talk about like um things i'm doing within the breakup to feel better because like i said i think a lot of people are going through them themselves and it could probably be helpful just to see somebody that you watch online that's not a stranger but also not like your best friends that you can feel connected to i'm saying like a real life best friend you know what i mean because when you're going through a breakup sometimes you just don't want to tell the people closest to you all the nitty gritty details you don't want to tell them like you know three weeks from now i'm still feeling sad you gotta feel like a burden to people talking about it all the time even though you're not it just breakups feel that way they feel very isolating so hopefully with me talking about it and being more open about it on my channel it can help some of you guys out there hopefully you can understand why i just kind of fell off the wagon a little bit yesterday and i had to just give in to my emotions because i felt like i hadn't done that in a little bit and it felt really good like i woke up this morning feeling a little bit better like feeling very light almost and i was feeling very heavy before so i do feel better it was probably for the best that i just took a night to myself to feel my emotions and also just get a lot of sleep because i was so tired i was physically exhausted it's like it all finally just kind of hit me i need to go finish blow drying my hair but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's random chaotic vlog nonetheless um i'm gonna film a weekly reset today which should be good just to like get 
some new energy into the vlogs, right? Get some new new vibes, get ready for the new week ahead, set ourselves up for success. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much because I already know so many of you are gonna be so understanding in the comments. So thank you so much to those of you that are always just so sweet and so supportive and everybody who watches my videos. It means a lot to me. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow with Vlogmas day four. I'm gonna drink the rest of my coffee and then we're gonna make another one right after this.